I'm going to be jetting up this window. I discovered something a few years ago when I was in America that Americans do their windows very different to the UK. They make more of a feature of them. And I've thought since I've had this window, it's been very plain and boring and I'm gonna jazz it up. So I, first of all, watched a few videos online just to see what I needed to do and how others did it. It seems that in America that you don't have the drywalling. <laughs> on this inside bit and you seem to make a wooden frame and then push the thing and then decorate it. I've already got my um, window frame along the bottom. So I'm gonna jazz it up and make it look a little bit more interesting. Now the window is a little bit plain. I don't know if it's the most beautiful of windows. It's fairly plain and we've got a lovely view obviously outside. There's the view. The garden's currently being done. We had a massive storm and you can see it's gone absolutely everywhere, but that's the view out of the window. So we have the lovely English countryside, but I want to make the window a little bit nicer. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the blind or not. Now I did put this up. I'm taking this down. This is used with a battery powered light bulb. I'm actually going to put, I bought two, put one up and I wasn't sure. I'm going to put that in my hallway. So I'll take that down and I am planning to do something on the wall here. But first of all, I'm going to do the window. So let me show you what I've got and what so I'm gonna do. What I bought is this pine. It's an 11 mil thick and it's the 92 mil wide. It comes in length of 2.4 meters. I bought two of those. Then I bought some of this trim. I think I have used this before. Let me show you the profile of it there. Two pieces, I think it was five pounds. And then I had this left over. I need to give it a bit of a clean, but this is what I used in my hallway. I'll use one of my chisels to get it off to put across the top which is like a much much thicker like that so this actually does match the thinner stuff which is a fiber and this i think these were 11 pounds a strip so it's going to cost about 40 pounds so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to measure now obviously this has all been done this is all finished nicely i'm going to do the side bits first watched a few videos so i'm going to cut it to fit perfectly the top down both sides, then add the top and add all the little trimmy bits. And I'm actually gonna make this look a bit more 3D. I've seen quite a few people use trim that's already detailed and ornate. So if you can get that, I'm sure you can in America, but in the UK you can't really. So I'm gonna do this. I'm actually gonna attach these onto this wood so it makes it look more detailed. So first of all, I'm gonna have a good measure up. Then I'm gonna cut all the bits with my saw and we'll get adding. Okay, so that's all on. Now I'm going to just double check the measurements of this piece, which is, I think it's 98 centimeters, and then cut some of this stripping, and then I'm gonna be adding the stripping either side to make that have a little bit more detail. And then I'll be cutting the top piece. The top piece is gonna have a 45 degree angle, I'll show you that, so it has a bit going back as well. And then I will sort out this bottom bit, so it goes all the way around. But you see I haven't got much of a gap there because of this marble, marble strip thing. Now I'm going to measure up for this trim to make this a bit more ornate. <laughs>
Okay, I have cut a piece, quite a narrow piece because I've got this quartz going on the back. I've literally just put a small piece under there to be the bottom of the frame. If I didn't have this, I would have gone slightly bigger. And then what I've done just to accommodate this, because if you were building this from scratch, obviously you could either cut this down and finish at the end, but I wanted it quite wide. So I decided to kind of go around. I just cut a small piece and slotted it in and then I filled it all. So it's all nice. And when that's all dry, I put a bit more filler over the top, sand it down, you won't notice that's got a join there. So I've done that on both sides, just using a bit of wood and I just cut it down to the size I needed and slotted it in. So these two pieces are on, stripping. Really does make it look a lot better with this trim. So now I'm gonna cut the bits on here and then I'm gonna work out, I'll work out for a stick it on how I'm gonna do this bit round here. down and what I've done is to make it have a nice corner I've cut a piece here so I measured the length it was 167 centimeters I think and then what I did was I cut it at 45 degree angle here so the back is shorter long sorry the front long back short front long that's how I remember how to do it so you cut it I just use my cutter cut it across then cut straight and I've put that piece on the end so the end whoo, Looks like that, so you've got a nice end. So I've done that on both ends. It's gonna let that, I've actually stuck it on now, so I'm gonna just let that dry. Then I'll pop it on the top. I think that'll look quite good. Okay, I've been round and I have corked all around here, all the bits and all the way down the side. So that's looking good. So I'm gonna leave that for a bit and then I'm going to get a coat of primer on. The cat is loving it. The cat basically lives up there. She clumbers up and uh, sits up there. It's her private apartment. Ring around. Um, there's no electrics or anything up there. It's just top of the kitchen and she loves it. So my mom's cats never went up there. So there we go. So I'm gonna leave it to dry just for a little bit. I'm starting to make the dinner actually, and then I'll probably give it a prime in a bit. So I'll show you when I've done that. Okay, I'm, gonna use, I'm gonna use my old reliable home base primer and undercoat. This is a quick dryer. I think it's a couple of hours. Touch dry in an hour, recoat four hours. So put that on now, then probably really late tonight, I can put a coat on. So that's that one. I'm going to be using this Dulux quick dry satin wood in a mid sheen. This is what I used on my Pax wardrobes. I really like it, really nice to apply. So I'm going to get a coat of the primer on. It's the following morning and I did a quick prime last night and then left overnight so it's really soaked in nicely and I'm now going to add the paint. I'm using the Dulux Quick Dry Satin Wood in the Mid Sheen in Pure Brilliant White. So I'm going to get that on with a brush. Uh, get the first one, that'll let me know how many coats I need. Still not sure about the light, if it's staying or going, but I am going to be putting some detail definitely on here soon. So I'm going to get the coat on. Thank you. 
So here it is. I'm really happy with it and I've had a very exciting delivery. So I think it definitely frames it a lot better than it was before. Just a bit more detail, definitely matches my kitchen. So I'm happy with that. I think I will though go and buy a tin of Farnbull Wedit because that is the colour of my kitchen and maybe put that on a top as well. But I've just had a delivery, very exciting delivery of these tiles that I bought, which are very nice. I wanted some thin mosaics that were glossy with a slight colour. So I found these. They are from, I actually remember at this point, but they were really affordable. I decided to order a metre squared because I think from one sample, you can't tell. And I knew they were all different colours. So it was, I think it's about 38 pounds a square metre. And I paid six pounds for postage. So I thought, oh, so I've got, actually loads have arrived. I think I probably need another square metre because it's only really these thin bits. But this is what I'm going to be doing. Now, the question I have for you is, would you, excuse the dirt on there, take this off? start the tiles on the ground or would you put them on the top my husband thinks it looks odd if i am to put them on here and go up like that I could do with a bit of blue tech actually to put them on but i think take this off i mean this is obviously solid quartz i think i'm going to put them on the top because i think it actually frames this very nicely even though this whatever the kitchen company that's the worst in the world put across there just evaporated it wasn't silicon so i'm going to do that very neatly with some white silicon at some point. But I think I'm gonna put them on top because I don't wanna ping this off. I could, but I really, really don't want to. But they're very, very nice, very happy. There's lots of different colors. So it's like an off-white beigey color. So interesting. So that's my next video. I'm going to start putting these on around the wall, which will hopefully give it a bit more detail. So yeah, I hope that was interesting. And if you're thinking of jazzing up a window, I hope you found that helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Do check out my other DIY videos. Let me know what you think and let me know if you think I should take that off or leave it. But thank you very much for watching. Do hit the subscribe button and I shall see you on the next video.